<clears throat> Hello, my name's Professor Gauntlet and here we are in a little wood and we will be talking about the avant-garde as discovered on Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Here we go, avant-garde. For other uses see avant-garde, disambiguation. The avant-garde from French, advance, garde, or vanguard, literally foreguard, are people or works that are experimental or innovative, particularly with respect to art, culture, or politics. The avant-garde pushes the boundaries of what is accepted as the norm or the status quo, primarily in the cultural realm. The avant-garde is considered by some to be a hallmark of modernism, as, as distinct from post-modernism. Many artists have aligned themselves with the avant-garde movement and still continue to do so, tracing a history from Dada through the Situationists to postmodern artists such as the language poets around 1981. The avant-garde also promotes radical social reforms. It was this meaning that was evoked by the Saint Sim Simonian Orland Rodriguez in his essay L'artiste, le savant et l'industriel. The Artist, the Science and the Industrialist, 1825, which contains the first recorded use of avant-garde in its now customary sense. There, Rodriguez calls on artists to serve as, in brackets, the people's avant-garde. Insisting that the power of the arts is indeed the most immediate and fastest way to social, political and e e economic reform. On we go. Theorising the avant-garde. Several writers have attempted with limited success to map the parameters of avant-garde activity. The Italian essayist Renato Pugilio provides one of the best-known analyses of the vanguardism as a cultural phenomenon in his 1962 book Teoria dell'arte de Va... Christ, it's a difficult, difficult bunch of words these, let me tell you. <clears throat> Teoria dell'arte de vanguardia. Now, in brackets, the theory of the avant-garde. Surveying the historical, social, psychological and philosophical aspects of vanguardism, Poggioli reaches beyond individual instances of art, poetry and music to show that vanguardists may share certain ideals or values which manifest themselves in the non-conformist lifestyles they adopt. He sees vanguard culture as a variety of subcategory of bohemianism, or subcategory of bohemianism. I'm rather warming to these fellows. Other authors have attempted both to clarify and to extend Poggioli's study. The German literary critic Peter Berger's theory of the avant-garde in 1974 looks at the establishment's <clears throat> embrace of socially critical works uh, of art and suggests that in, comp in just that in complicity with capitalism, art as an institution neutralises the political content of the, of the individual work. And I think we'll leave it there, because there's a whole lot of stuff in this work here, in, uh, in, uh, on Wikipedia, which I must say is a rather splendid um, website resource. I, uh, I do visit it quite often myself for my... Uh, particle acceleration work. So, uh, just search for avant-garde uh, in Wikipedia. That's www.wikipedia. Uh, and that is the entirely, completely free encyclopedia that you can found, find on the internet. Just uh, download uh, Internet Explorer or one of those other browsers. You might need to get a computer first as well. Uh, okay, this has been a really splendid time together and uh, I bid you farewell. <laughs>